Warhammer universe is perhaps one of the deepest and darkest places when it comes to fantasy lore. Age of Sigma is popular, but there's no comparison to the behemoth that is Warhammer 40k. However, when it comes to gaming, the IP has not exactly had the best track record, especially 40k, not quite getting the love it maybe deserves. Is it all doom and gloom? No, not quite. I mean, the early Dawn of War games were incredible. Taken after the success of the RTS King Age of Empires, the Dawn of War games developed by Relic came along to the scene with a more arcadey but 40k fitting approach, building bases, units, and of course immersing you within the Warhammer world. Yet these days, the 40k gaming scene just seems to be turn-based strategies. Over and over again, a new one seems to release and it turns out to be a hex-based title. Most of them are solid enough, but since the disaster that was Dawn of War 3, there's been very little in terms of really true great 40k content. Are developers just too scared to rush into the ever-loyal but brutal fanbase? Maybe. But nonetheless, many 40k fans have been starved for quite some time for a really good in the action game. None of this watching from afar, separating yourself from the battles, but straight down, bloody, gory, and capturing the 41st millennia from the front line. Enter Dark Tide, the first person spin off to the ever popular Vermintide series, a new co op take on the fright of the Imperium. Play as Imperial Guards with three of the friends to clear the depths of the Hive City. Lasguns, chainswords, magic, my god, is Dark Tide shaping up to be something else? It really doesn't get much better than heading into the darkest of worlds with the most brutal of weaponry and slaughtering through waves and waves of the most frightening of ghouls. For me, this might sound like an over exaggeration, but but Dark Tide perhaps is going to become the saviour to the 40k fans. That drought that we've had over the last few years. But it isn't alone. Space Marine 2 is bringing Titus back. The Emperor's Angels to take to the battlefield to show their full prowess and brutality. Nothing even comes close to the Ultramarine on the front line. And the sequel to the 2011 classic is aiming to show it once again. Space Marine 2 has been a title that I personally have waited for a long, long time. The first is such a good third-person shooter. The game itself was supposed to actually have sequels back in the day when it was first developed, but due to the company making it going bust, that never worked out. But now, of course, it's been picked up by Relic, and with new technology and a fresh new perspective on the franchise, I think we might just see more than we ever bargained for. These two titles are, for me, the saviour of Warhammer 40k gaming. It has just been so long, and whilst turn-based strategies are good enough in a certain light, there's been too many at this point. I really think it's time for something different, something new, something more intense and bloody than ever. Whilst we don't have all that much to go on with Space Marine 2, Dark Tide, however, has recently had some incredible new gameplay. Each person within the game gets to choose a character who, much like the Vermintide series, have their own unique skills and abilities, such as, I don't know, the tank, a brutal Imperial Guard hulking through, charging any pit of enemies in front of them. Maybe spells and magic is more your thing, or sly dodging and light weaponry is all there for your 40k goodness. Missions will all have their own objectives, but there will also be side quests and and side objectives within them, from holding positions all the way to puzzle solving and minigame, whilst your friends bat away any demon dog or lasgun wielding opponents that throw themselves at you. The game itself will have full character customizations, from aesthetics, weapons, all the way down to skills invested in your character that carry from mission to mission, so you really work up that relationship with your person themselves. I absolutely love the attention to detail in the weaponry, trying to recreate famous arms and armor that have never been seen before in a first person perspective. Perspective. I mean, like the Lasgun, beams of energy that feel like boulders smashing into enemies that fall into pieces like meat sacks in front of you. Movement has also been improved. Dodging, strafing and vaulting is much more refined than the previous Vermintide games and oh boy, the enemy types. From grunts to elites and all out bosses, they're going to take a little more than just firepower and teamwork to get around. These two games together are forming, at least for me, somewhat of a renaissance in the 40k genre. An IP that has been so big for so long, yet often that also being its downfall when it comes to quality. Sometimes lacking the care and attention to detail that's needed in this video game industry. Because, don't get me wrong, Warhammer 40k has always been insanely big, but I think it's just about to get even bigger.